Okay, so one of the first things that you will do once you are done editing your planner and all of the pages, you are going to save this. So you're going to click on share, download, and you are going to download this as PDF print. Okay, uh, you don't need to check any of these boxes. We can keep this, we'll go ahead and put CMYK. Okay, and we'll go ahead and hit download. So you just wanna make sure that all pages is selected. CMYK, you don't have to check any of these boxes. Click download. So this particular planner is a six by nine. It's six by nine inches. It's 127 pages. Now, the cover page that has been created for this planner is sized for a six by nine inch planner that is 127 pages. So as long as you keep everything the same as far as the page number and size, then it's ready to be uploaded to Amazon KDP. So now let's go to the cover file. So here's the cover file. It's already sized to fit an Amazon KDP book that is six by nine and 127 pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click share so that I can download it. And I'm going to download this as PDF print. I'm going to select CMYK. Don't need to check any of these boxes. And going to click download. Okay, so now we are at Amazon KDP. I'm going to get signed in and show you how to upload your first planner. Okay, so I'm signed in and I have my dashboard here. I'm just going to click on the option to create. Next, I'm going to choose paperback, so create paperback. For the title, I'm just going to put in Time to push it to the limits. Let's see. Time to push. Limits. Undated annual planner. Okay. Um, it's not a series, so I don't have to worry about uh, choosing this option, basically it says series. If your book is part of a series, series or will eventually be, you can add it now. Alternatively, you can add it later. So you don't have to worry about that right now. Edition number, this, um, we don't have to worry about this either. Um, not unless, you know, you do have a certain edition. So you just, it's self-explanatory, just read that there. And if it applies to you, then you will put in the addition number. If not, you skip that. So go ahead and put in the author here. All right, um, contributors. Um, this is if you have other contributors to this planner. Let's say you had someone come in and design the cover. Um, you just basically wanna add someone else as a contributor. Maybe someone came in and helped you um, edit parts of the planner and, and you want to show that they contributed, then you would put their name here. And then here, this is going to, you're just going to put in a description. Of course, right now, I'm not going to put in, in a full description, but I do want to show you, let's say you don't know what to write for your description, and maybe you want to use ChatGPT to help you. So let me show you what you could possibly do. So I'm going to go to ChatGPT and show you that really quickly. Now, this is really brief, okay, and I'm just showing this for example purposes. You would get in there, you would get more detailed, um, but I just want to show you for example purposes how you can use ChatGPT to help you to write a description, okay? So I'm just going to put write a short Amazon description for an undated annual planner 
titled push it away title it's time okay so I'm put in write a short Amazon description for an undated annual planner titled it's time to push it to the limits and I'll show you what it comes up with here so this is so awesome right now I'm just going to use this as is this description but of course you could go in you could make changes to this um, so that it will fit perfectly but this is just such a great description all I got to do is hit copy I'm going to go back over to the description and I'm just going to paste it here you know you may have to make a few changes there but I'm not going to right now in the video um, well I'm just going to go ahead really quickly. <laughs> so I would take out these things, these little asterisks, and then I might bold features. I want to take out these asterisks. So basically just go in and update anything that you see that's not right. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for now. Now publishing rights. I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights. And then this is a public domain work. So you would choose the first option, um, sexually explicit images or title. You're going to choose what applies to you. Of course, for me, it's going to be no. Does the book's cover our interior contain sexually explicit images? No. Reading age, this is optional. Okay, um, choose the location where you expect the majority of your book sales. Just going to go ahead and keep Amazon.com selected, and this is the US. Okay, and then categories. You do want to um, choose some categories. So for the undated annual planner, um, I'm going to choose self help, subcategory, personal transformation, and I would say self help and just keep it there. Okay. Does your book classify as any of these types? Choose all that apply. Low content book, journals, notebooks, and planners. Yes. So you're going to select that option. Large print book, con content is 16 point font size or greater. No. All right. Keywords are optional. So you can go in and um, put in keywords there. Of course, this will help with people when they are searching. Uh, so I may put in undated planner well I might put in undated I might put in annual I might put in planner and then undated planner um, annual planner maybe goal setting Okay, so anything you can kind of think of that would relate and you can kind of do some keyword research on this to see what would be best, okay? Um, publication date. The publication date tells the readers when the book was originally published. If your book has not been published before, select the first option. So we're going to be selecting the first option. Release date. We're going to go ahead and release my book for sale now. And you want to save and continue. All right, so we're publishing a low content book. So this means that we don't need an ISBN. So we're gonna choose the option publish without an ISBN. This particular um, planner is black and white on the inside. So I'm going to keep the black and white interior with white paper selected. It is a six by nine inch book. We are gonna choose bleed, okay? And then your cover can be matte or glossy. I like, I personally like matte for my covers, but this is totally up to you. Glossy, of course, is going to be shiny and glossy. Matte is going to be more of that matte look, which is just not glossy. And it has, I love the texture of the Amazon KDB matte books. 
So manuscript, upload manuscript. This is where you're going to take this PDF document with 127 pages and you're going to select that and upload it. Now this can take a little while. So just be prepared to keep your browser open, walk away and allow that to upload. Um, now you want to go and sometimes right away it doesn't show that it's there, but don't worry, it'll pop up. So then for your book cover, you want to upload a cover that you already have. It's print ready. So you're going to select that and then upload your cover file and then choose your cover file. Okay. So next it says, does your cover include a barcode? If left unchecked, we'll add a barcode for you. So this cover does not have a barcode. We're going to leave it unchecked so that they can add the barcode. So you see the manuscript has been added. Your cover has been added as well. Um, in AI generated content, Amazon is collecting information about the use of AI tools in creating content. Did you use AI tools in creating text images in our translations in your book for this particular planner? No, I did not. So I would select no. Now book preview, you're going to click launch previewer. I will um, warn you that this does take some time, so don't worry. So you're just going to hit launch previewer. Okay, so we take a look and everything has been uploaded. And basically you're just going to go through and you'll see each page and you'll see that each page is fitting within the, um, the lines here. If anything on a page is not fitting, then it will tell you and you'll know where to go back and correct. So we are all good to go on this, thank goodness. So we'll just click approve. All right. So let's see, let's continue to go through. So now this is going to tell you your printing cost. For this particular book, it's 127 pages, six by nine, black and white. It's only, your printing cost is only gonna be $2.52 with Amazon, which is amazing. Um, so there's your printing cost. We're gonna go ahead and go to the next screen. So save and continue. All right, next, the territories. Select the territories where you have the rights to sell this book. This will determine where the book is available for sale. So you're just gonna go ahead and click all territories and you can kind of go into each of this and read and uh, select what applies to you. But for me, I just choose all territories. Primary marketplace is amazon.com. So pricing and royalties, this is where you're going to price your book, okay? So basically you're going to put in your list price and um, it's gonna tell you pretty much what you'll make off of each book. So let's say I list this at $18. The printing is gonna cost me $252. Uh, the royalty, the amount that I would get back is $8.28 per book. Um, that is because Amazon is getting uh, a cut here, okay? So you can place it, let's say you want more than $8, let's say you put this book at 22, then you'd be making $10.68 per book. Um, I like the price of 18. I mean, I like to at least get $10 per book. However, I feel that $22 is just a little bit much for this particular planner, but you can definitely research the market um, and, and plan it accordingly. But I'm gonna do 18 for now and make $8 off of each book, $8.28, so I'm fine with that. Um, terms and conditions, it can take up to 72 hours for your book to be available for purchase. Um, you can request a proof if you'd like. Um, getting a printed preview of your book before it goes live. It's checks for printing errors. And if everything looks correct, you can order author copies once your book is available on Amazon. So I normally don't request a proof, but you're more than welcome to. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish your paperback book. What I do love about Amazon KDP 
is that they are printing and shipping each book for you. You do not have to order a whole bunch of books and worry about selling them. You just get this book listed and then the only thing that you have to worry about is um, pushing traffic to your book for book sales. Okay, so now this gives you an option to do an ebook. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now, so I'm just going to close that out. So now it's in review. It can take up to 72 hours. You'll get an email once it's um, done and listed. So hopefully this helps. Just follow this video in, in getting your, your planner uploaded, okay? So simple steps. We downloaded the um, cover file. We downloaded the interior manuscript. And then we just followed through the Amazon KDP, followed the prompts and uploaded everything. So I do hope this helps and I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're finding value and check out some of my other videos.